welcome to subramani uh, my throat is a little bad so you'll have to bear with me uh, so a friend of mine was asked to serve food to people in a temple so he was serving food and the priest came and said that man sitting in the corner uh, you should serve him double of what you're serving the others so he said uh, but why he said no he he does nothing so this fellow was more intrigued uh, and he said he does nothing why should i be serving him more he said because sitting idle doing nothing is very difficult and he is doing that so i think he deserves more so you should serve him more <clears throat> so our friend says uh, i can also do nothing so he says okay come tomorrow morning and uh, sit here doing nothing <coughs> sorry so our friend goes there in the morning sits there for 5 10 minutes and comes to the priest and says uh, do i have some work to do he said no your simple task is to sit there doing nothing so after about an hour of agitation no phone no no television no newspaper no external stimuli he should just sit with himself <coughs> he found it very difficult he comes back and says confesses says i can't do it so he said well that is the reason why i gave him double of what the others got <coughs> because i am like the market i reward people for sitting there doing nothing <coughs> now investing is definitely difficult but sitting tight during bull markets sitting on cash doing nothing is far more difficult because everybody else in the market is saying i am not buying because i don't have money you are saying i am not buying because i don't know what to buy right well when you say not you don't know what to buy it just means you don't know what to buy afresh because you have an existing portfolio <coughs> you haven't decided whether to put money in equity gold us markets chinese markets japanese markets you know which market equity what you want to do you are unable to decide rather than saying there are no opportunities because if you thought the market was overpriced you should be selling and moving completely into cash none of us ever do that and if you think it's worth buying then you should just go and buy of some of your existing shares right if let's say you have bajaj auto or let's say you have hdfc limited then what is your uh, why use your brain or tcs why use your brain just go and buy more of it because if you think uh, holding 430 uh, tcs is good then holding 440 tcs is also good and holding 800 tcs is also good right uh, unless it puts your complete portfolio out of whack so largely when you say you don't know what to buy you mean you don't know what to buy new because you do not know how much more to diversify your portfolio for example 80% of your money or 90% of your equity money is in india and a little bit of is in us you are now wondering whether to add china to your portfolio or whether to add japan to your portfolio that is also your thinking and wondering and during such times you will be sitting on cash sitting on cash is almost always a negative uh, decision for people saying i don't know what to do therefore i'm sitting on cash i have cash i don't know what to buy therefore i'm sitting on cash i don't know whether where to invest uh, even if i know where to invest i don't know which particular share to buy should i buy apple should i buy alphabet should i buy netflix right you don't you are unable to give an answer to yourself and therefore you don't know what your uh, you you are sitting on cash the other reason to sit on cash is for waiting for some uh, great event to happen because of which you will be able to deploy that cash now this event such events do not happen very often for example we are right now in a bull market and every bull market ends badly so yes you will see from the say sensex of 53000 you will see uh, definitely a fall maybe to 4000 48000 or maybe to 43000 or maybe even to 38000 are we ready for it if we are ready for it then you should not be cribbing about the cash keep on building cash put it in a ultra short bond fund and let it grow you will get 3 4% return not more than that but i don't know whether you are keen to put it in say a credit risk fund I have money in credit risk fund, and I very simply believe that if money lies in credit risk fund for three, four, five years, after that the risk keeps going down, 
and then it becomes like a savings bank account whenever you want you can withdraw so i keep money in credit risk fund also apart from keeping money in ultra short bond fund so what to do sitting tight because you don't know what to buy means you are not respecting your existing portfolio let's say you have hdfc limited and now you are saying you don't know what to buy so which means you do not even know whether it hdfc limited is worth holding so whatever is in your portfolio you assume let it be there but fresh i do not know what to buy that is wrong because you should be willing to buy more of your existing shares because you why are you holding it you are holding it because it's good right or you are holding it because it's great right uh, if you the very basics of decluttering when you look at a share in your portfolio you should feel excited and you should know the purpose why it is there right now therefore uh, you have some shares say 20 shares in which you have invested maybe there is an indigo in it where you should look at and say i am not sure the loka loka <coughs> so are still happening lockdowns are still happening people are not traveling so should i hold on or should i just exit right it's a question which you keep asking yourself but you do not know whether to buy that's fine but you do not know whether to sell that's also okay there are times when you need not make up your mind but there will be some other share which you think are worth buying let's say there's some fertilizer share or a banking share or an insurance share so you say oh hfc life insurance looks good let me buy more of it so some opportunity will always be there but if you think that is also not there and you are waiting that uh, i think next quarter results of hdfc life insurance and uh, other insurance companies will be bad because of the third wave second wave whatever and i will buy then when the price falls below a particular threshold level because then there will be more triggers more people will sell and i will be able to buy perfectly right so therefore again you are sitting on cash waiting for an opportunity you are waiting for cash again is a transaction opportunity sometimes you might get some uh, distress sale maybe uh, somebody comes and says i have a house to sell in khandala and uh, i want to sell it at uh, same price at which i bought 8 years ago or 7 years ago and you wanted a second house that could be an opportunity so cash always gives you the options of which market to move to and at what speed to move to should i move to us should i move to india should i move to china should i move to equity debt should i move to gilt or should i move to corporate or should i go to take higher risk in uh, credit risk right all these options are available but more or less sure it will give you a negative return after uh, say 6 months 3 months whenever because it's lying in the savings bank account or maybe it is in the uh, ultra short bond fund but one thing is for certain that if you think you're going to the option is between sitting on cash and losing money then uh, sitting on cash is a better option uh, one more problem is uh, my broker always used to tell me that paisa tumhara kya kaatta hai kya savings bank ka paisa right so very many people will be itching like that or they'll call you and say oh i have uh, sold some property i got some 12.2 crores where should i deploy nahi abhi market acha nahi lagta hai nahi yaar kuch to hoga na ekdam solid bol you know tcs hdfc aisa kuch ekdam solid bol but these guys are not really uh, willing to lose 20% of their capital then it's not maybe not the best time to be entering the market if you don't know the risks in the market at a high level so maybe for you an ultra short bond fund and an sgp from there over 3 years makes more sense because this amount is uh, equal to the rest of your portfolio or maybe it's much more right so depending on the size of your portfolio depending on the immediacy of needing the money or dramatically lower your expectation and say theek hai cash kaatta to hai nahi 4 taka deta hai 3 taka deta hai 4% return i'll get in an ultra short bond fund i'll withdraw after 3 years in the meanwhile if i get some opportunity i'll buy otherwise it's okay it is perfectly all right to target a cash collection also and say till i reach 50 lakhs i'm not going to worry about it so keep watching your uh, ultra short bond fund and keep putting money into it like how you would put money into an rd just keep on putting whenever you have money you keep putting into it after it reaches 1 crore One crore is a number I picked up. It could be five percent of your portfolio. It could be one percent of your portfolio. Whatever. After it reaches, you at least feel, "Ha, huh, I had to achieve something. I have achieved." And you may or may not uh, deploy it immediately, but at least you had a target. You achieved that, right? So sitting on cash is not very easy. It is difficult. 
but it pays off dividends uh, very very differently than uh, your IRR and all that right so you could get a chance to buy something and sell something you get a trading opportunity right all those possibilities are there with cash understand the significance of cash in your portfolio it protects you from the downside if there is some bad news suppose you're sitting on one crore cash and there is uh, further bad news that china has released one more version of its uh, great uh, virus markets crash great time for you to be buying but that is sheer luck you did not know this was going to happen but yes i can assure you in this market over the next uh, 10 years there will be many 10 percent falls and one or two big 30 35 percent falls on that day if you're ready to invest Accumulating cash is not a bad idea at all in spite of the negative interest rates. Thank you.